Well, if you've been in a car accident, obviously you'll want to call the police. Um, well, call 911 because you're probably going to need an ambulance to come and take care of you, take you to hospital. They'll notify police also. And when you're able, you or somebody in your family should right away contact your insurance company and report the claim. Now you may think, I'll deal with a lawyer later, down the road, I'm busy now. Um, maybe it's been a couple of days since you've been discharged from hospital and you think, I feel terrible. I'm in so much pain, I can't deal with lawyers and paperwork, I'll get to it later. That would be a terrible mistake. Um, nobody wants to call a lawyer, nobody wants to meet with a lawyer, nobody wants to do a bunch of paperwork. But that call to a lawyer can make the difference, both in the coming months and the years ahead, for a few reasons. One, there are strict timelines for letting your insurance company know what's going on. Well, you've reported the claim, presumably, and that's fine. But you actually have to make a formal application to the insurance company for benefits. Now, that might seem counterintuitive. After all, you called or somebody in your family called and told them about the accident, and you think that should be enough, and, you know, I wouldn't disagree with you. But you actually have to put in a formal application for benefits, and there's a tight timeline for doing that. If you call your insurance company, they're going to send you a bundle of documents, forms, for you to complete. It's about this thick. You're going to find it intimidating. Almost everybody does. If you call a lawyer and you're represented, your lawyer will take care of that bundle of forms for you. The most you have to do is answer a few questions and sign your name a few times. And your claim will be moving along. And that's critical in the early stages. You might need to replace your lost income because you can't work. Well, that doesn't happen until your application for benefits goes in. You'll probably want to have some money to pay for therapy and medicine and an assistive device, all sorts of things and equipment. Well, that won't happen until your insurance company agrees to fund them. And that doesn't happen until that application goes in. So you definitely want a lawyer to help you do all that right at the beginning. The second part is to make sure that your accident is investigated in a timely fashion. Because in the long run, you may want to sue the driver that hurt you. To do that, we have to make sure that we know what happened and that we've collected all the evidence that might be available to prove your version. That might be security camera videos. That might be the black box from one or more vehicles involved in the accident. Now, if one of those cars gets sent to the wrecker, you can say goodbye to that black box. But if you've got a lawyer on the case, it can be preserved. And that could very easily make all the difference in the world as to whether or not you succeed in your lawsuit against the responsible driver. 